All right, boys and girls, we just landed here in the state of Washington. We're here at the Museum of Flight, F-18 Blue Angels. We're not here for an airplane video, unfortunately. So soak in the views. This is the best thing you're ever gonna see on this video because it's all downhill from here. So the real reason we're here in Tacoma, Washington is because of the crazy open air chop shops, a lot of locations where people dump stolen cars hundreds by the month every week we were wondering where do all these stolen cars go what happens to them what is the hierarchy in terms of you know these organizations and of course lastly how do these open chop shops operate so brazenly out in the open in the state of washington especially in tacoma so without further ado take it in boys and girls f18 pretty sick but like i said it's literally all downhill from here so let's wrap it up and head out taking a quick break here at the museum of flight we've got the super constellation the super g kind of like the super legera hmm maybe it's coming back to the channel real soon we're in a spot where there's a lot of stolen cars that get dumped out here now i'm gonna pass no judgment but you guys let me know what you guys think of what's going on in front of me here take a look at this I mean, yeah, dude. Check this out. Hold on a second. This. Whew. Okay. Yep. 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 Not great. You know, of course, we see these kind of things in uh, Los Angeles, but this is special. That is a condemned building, I think. Oh, man. Hold on. And get this side. Of course, they have a boat. There is a boat. What is going on in there, dude? This is another spot here. We're not going to go down there because it's private property. But, I mean, oil pans, car parts, screws, hammers, tires, everything and anything to run an open-air chop shop. And, yes, they exist out here in Washington. What the heck is going on in there, dude? Don't mind the crashed El Camino 350 just abandoned in front of an elementary school. All right, so we're just driving around at local hot spots where stolen cars get dumped. And then we found this over here. Hold on a second. It looks like a house that was being refurbished or built. And there's squatters here. Look at this. What the? What the hell? This look, 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 look. They got a a campfire campfire are you kidding me oh dude imagine being this guy's neighbor and you're just like great hey, one more angle wait for it yeah yeah dude oh my goodness tacoma washington you've truly outdone yourself there's a uh, recurring theme here with a lot of cars here in washington or a lot of houses, they like to stockpile like abandoned and crushed and potentially stolen cars out their front yards or backyards. Look at this, that's insane. There's like random boats just left on the side. Hold on, there you go. Look at these residential streets, a common sight here in Washington. Maybe they're just collecting, it looks like they collect pallets and like return them or something. But um, look at what, <laughs> dude, look at all that smoke, dude. We're not quite sure what this is, but it's a three-wheeler car, and it's got two seats in it. What is that? Anyone know? Must be a custom-built car, I think. It looks like a Hot Wheel. Get a picture. Oh, definitely will. We got the Toyota Corolla, the Anthony unofficial special here. Totally decked out, two-tone with the mud flaps, the chrome flare. That is pretty sick. The blinged out steering wheel. It doesn't get any better than this. And look at the front bumper. It's got the, the knickknacks, the tchotchkes. That's weird. We're not saying this is like a stolen car by any means, but look at this. Old police car, no plates on the front or the rear. Mega tints. Something ain't right with this Caprice, man. Maybe it's just someone's like project car or like, I don't know, weekend car, but 
I'm not buying it. So you guys are probably wondering why there are no parking signs lined up on the left and right of this particular side street. According to the Tecompton Stolen Cars page, Facebook page, these are put up here because they've caught too many stolen cars dumped here. People doing haram and illegal activities, drug use, parting out cars on the side streets. They love a, they love a good dead end. So the police have put up these signs that if you have any cars parked here for longer than, you know, a day or two, it'll get towed ASAP. Dude, look at the two-tone Bentley, man. Look at the wheels. Yes. All right, so this is not quite stolen car content here, but I think you guys need to check this out. This used to be a roadway in a motel. Um, I'm not really sure where we're at, but... Oh yeah, what happened here? This was a, a hot spot for uh, cars getting dumped here. I think this got cleared out, but I don't know what caused this fire. Was a homeless encampment here that started it or it was a result of a fire that closed down this property and then they moved in? I don't know. So we were just reading the reviews of this place. There are prostitutes, hookers, drug dealers, car thieves, every sort of bad people running around here i just want to know what caused the fire here oh my goodness jeez louise papa cheese that is so bad exploring abandoned trashed out buildings is a favorite pastime of mine here i think it's completely cleared out so yeah my goodness The city of Fife. What is the man doing over down there? Hmm, looks suspicious. Now we're gonna do a quick drive through around here. Uh, we might have seen a few. Oh look, there's like a pink Prius in there. Hold on, wait. Look, pink Prius. Whoa. It's not focusing. What are you doing? There you go. A hotbed of illegal activity in regards to car theft and dumped cars and chop shops and Lo and behold, what do we have here? Red signs, red flags all over the place. You got cars on jacks. Here, hold on. Look at this. Cars on jacks in the middle of the road, or on the side of the road, rather. You got tents, a condemned property, trailers. Someone's dog is barking. Oh, man, over here, look. Oh man. Oh yeah. Nice and slow. You can sort of see it. It's just like a lot of RVs. Trespassing city of Fife. A condemned building here. Hold on, I gotta pull in front of this place and take a look. You can see it, but there is a W140 all the way down over there. S class on AMG wheels. What the heck? Strange things around here. Oh, the cat, 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 kitty cat, kitty cat, kitty cat, meow. Demolition of the Furwood Gym Associate Outbuilding and Fire Station Phase 1 of the Furwood Wetland My Mitigation Project. Oh, yeah. That'll do it. And then right over here, this dilapidated fence. Hold on, let's see if we get anything over there. Oh, yeah. They like to hide in the woods. So we just spoke with one of Hannah's friends over here that lives in Washington and she gave us a pretty interesting tip regarding how some of these goons run around with stolen plates and they've won up themselves by going to the local DMV, breaking and entering and stealing uh, license plates that have not been registered to any car and they stole the registration stickers so they can slap it on any car they, that they steal and it will not come up in any database or Google search. So these guys are pretty crafty and innovative, but man, this is absolutely out of control. I've never seen anything quite like this. It's hard to see here, but we got the C plates here in Washington indicating they are of a new registration and brand new plates that had just been made. So this one's a B plate, so it's slightly older. 
They have a W220S class S550. I don't know what that old car is. Look at the tires. Oh man, what is happening here? Yeah, Oldsmobile. Kind of suspicious. So this is pretty crazy to me. So we're from Los Angeles and we see quite a bit of like homeless encampments and we have the homeless housing. So you have people's houses to our left right here and immediately to the right is this, it's not an encampment, it's like a housing for the homeless. That is, it's, it's right across the street. That's insane. And check out this old five series, the 530i. Hold on, wait, 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 oh. Hmm. Oh, look, there's like Mustangs in the back of this guy's yard here. Look at that. The Washingtonians love a good abandoned car in their front and backyard. Oh, hello, little kitty cat. <laughs> All right, so this next section over here, right across the street, is this alleyway where residents have been reporting and complaining to the police and the city officials. Wait, the cat's running around. There it is about abandoned cars, stolen cars, they're doing drugs, they're parting out uh, stolen cars in the driveways, there's burnt trash, drug paraphernalia everywhere, loud noises, so is it, I think it's down here, right? Yeah, down here. Oh yeah, here we go, baby. Dude, this thing is torched out, they got their laundry hanging dry. What an absolute disaster. Oh my goodness. Oh yeah, it's a jungle gym in there. There's a literal jungle gym in there. Whoa. I, I literally don't even know what to say. It's yeah. crazy. Oh yeah, there's cars, oh. Rust buckets, old school stuff. We're literally in the trenches right now. Look at this, we're in the trenches here. This poor rental car, but I'm taking it slow, so you know it's not all bad. Hold on, there's wait, wait, there's more. Just when you thought there wasn't any more, you're wrong. Poor C320, dude. Oh, oh, oh my god. As Bell 40 would say, we're literally on Ho Chi Minh Trail here, dude. I thought the potholes in Los Angeles are bad. This is next level. Are you kidding me? I don't want to point any fingers or make any assumptions. I just feel like every car here on the streets is stolen or at least some dodgy history like this Taurus over here or that Volvo. I don't know. You guys make the, you guys make the judgment calls because I don't know anymore. But I've seen enough where it's very suspicious. All these have like temporary licenses. I'm not buying it, dude. I'm not buying it one bit. Look at his stain. Look at this Dodge pickup. Look at this VW. Highly suspicious activity. Trash everywhere. Obviously not, you know, the clearest indicator of suspicious activity, but I mean, come on. We've driven around all over Tacoma for the past day and a half, and uh, we've seen quite enough of baloney to make a clear assessment on what's really going on over here. So take a look to your left, ladies and gentlemen. Crackhead Central, yeah. All right, we're going back down. Yeah, we're going back down Ho Chi Minh Trail here in Tacoma, Washington. This is actually insane. So before you guys write in the comments, how do you know these are stolen cars? Well, well let me rebut that statement, ladies and gentlemen. So there's a uh, an app, it's called like 311 Tacoma and residents or local residents can complain to their city council officials or the police about any sort of nonsense or baloney that's going on so this is a known issue here of stolen cars there's abandoned properties there's a nice little cat hello hello cat um just a lot of baloney and nonsense happening here a lot of illegal and haram activity look at these cool old uh, old school cars on the back here there's an el camino oh yeah el camino Dang, 
a lot of good old American classics in the back over there. So we got the shut and shed. I mean, this is insane. This is just insane. Hold on, look. Yep. So you have condemned houses where known drug addicts and thieves go into. Look at all this. Come on. You have the fake, like, temporary license plates, paper printouts. This is insane. The sh windows are all shot out, boarded up. Come on. I've never seen anything like this in Los Angeles. Let alone anywhere else in the world, honestly. We've come across a strange lot here. Not really sure what it is. It's called Bill's Towing, but it's permanently closed. But look at the clunkers in here. El Dorado. Some cool classic cars in here, though. Hiding the good stuff here, Bill, huh? Hiding the good stuff. And there's probably like a 20 to 30 cars in that lot. But, um, yeah, I really don't know anymore. I feel like everything here is just sketchy now. Undercover cop cars without license plates. We're in Washington. Uh, we're in Tacoma, Washington. Here's the third one right over here. Oh, look, maybe they just take delivery of them. I think this says it all, ladies and gentlemen. A car on cinder blocks, jacks, missing all tires and wheels, missing a transmission, interior has been stripped and clipped. Um, not sure what else to say here. The instrument cluster is still there. The shift knob is gone. Radio is bashed in. The front windshield is bashed in as well. There's graffiti all over the place. It is an absolute disaster here. And there is, of course, the big gulp. Wow. It says, please don't tell. I'll move it out of here by the first of uh, the 13th of January 2024 at the latest. Pretty wild. Just chilling here in the parking lot of the Starbucks, the Cricket, and the grocery outlet. We wandered into Seattle here. We got this old little BMW 3 Series convertible. The door is ajar. The interior is a little messed up. And of course, is missing the entire front hood. I'm not really sure what else they took, but the engine seems to be intact. Looks to be a little suspicious. It has not moved in quite some time, I think. What is this? What is this thing doing here? I don't know, man. We're treating this with extreme caution and suspicion. Look at this setup here. They've got power. This one's a mansion, a little chill spot. Dude, this guy's got a full blown power outlet, dude. I don't hear any generator either. He's probably tapped into one of these lines. They just came in hot and heavy. Uh, where is this at? This is- University Place in Uni Tacoma. University Place, Tacoma, Washington. We were just having a nice little dinner and bam, triple threat with a 5-0 coming in hot at the Safeway parking lot. Wait, what's going on over there? Oh, 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 oh shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Someone's on the ground, I think. Are they having a fight or someone got shot? I can't tell. Another cop. Oh yeah, there's four of them now. This guy is just like, I have want no part of this. <laughs> this guy. Oh dude, what just happened? Did they just try to like card? Like, I don't know. Oh, he's in cuffs. Dude, that was... Hold on, hold on, hold on. There we go. They cuffed him up. And there's this lady in this car that just, I don't know what she, what, I'm so confused. Oh, look, another cop just pulled up. Everyone here is just so unamused and apathetic to what's going on. Is this the norm here in Washington? What the fuck? Dude, he got put in cuffs so fast. Oh, he done, go someone goofed up real bad right here. Really bad. I can't, I can't imagine this being just like petty theft either. 